Okay, question number 54 and question 55 both deal with exponents that are fractional. So, let's look at the problems. Here we go. The first question we're asked to deal with. We're taking the number 25 and we're raising it to the 3 halves power. This is question number 54. Now what you're asked to do here is you're asked to evaluate this and the reason you can evaluate it, which means actually compute it and give me an answer, is you have a number <coughs> being raised to a power. So here's what you need to remember. Whenever you have a fractional power, the number in the denominator becomes the index of the base, the, the index of the radical that affects this base. So in this particular problem, what we're being asked to do to start with is we're being asked to take the square root of 25. I know we don't need to put the 2, because whenever it's a square root, you automatically assume the index is a 2, but I wanted you to see that this denominator actually becomes this index. And then all of this is being raised to the third power. So that's the first thing we do. We rewrite 25 to the 3 halves power as the square root of 25 quantity cubed. And of course, the square root of 25 is 5. When you take 5 and raise it to the third power, you get the answer 125, which is our answer to question number 54. Now, looking at question number 55, which also deals with rational exponents, notice the difference here. We're not going to evaluate this because we don't really know what x is equal to. But what we're asked to do in problem number 55 is we're asked to simplify this by using laws of exponents. Well, here's what you need to remember. When you have a base raised to a power and you're multiplying that by the same rate, same base raised to another power, what you're going to do is you're going to leave the base alone so the x does not change. And when you're multiplying, what you're going to do is you're going to add the powers. So we have 5 halves plus 9 halves. So that becomes our new exponent. And of course, now all we do is the arithmetic. This is nice since these already have the same denominator. This is a pretty easy problem. 5 halves plus 9 halves, of course, becomes 14 halves and 14 divided by 2 hopefully is 7, so we've got x to the 7th power. <laughs>